The halfway point in the season already in the 2017 Toyo Tires Porsche Championship and Ed Hayes and Pip Hammond respectively dominate the race boxer and 924 classes. But last time out at Cadwell Park, Ed Hayes' win streak was broken by Adam Southgate. What makes it more interesting, they arrive here for the first race matched on the front row of the grid. So, over to race commentator Jake Sanson. And Jake, this could be an interesting one. Certainly could, Scott. Let's talk you through the grid. Ed Hayes and Adam Southgate on the front row of the grid with Richard Avery and Nick Hull on the second. Gary Goodwin alongside Andrew Porter on row three with Angus Archer and Alex Stocker on the fourth ahead of Kevin Molyneux. In the 94 class, it's the BDC racing cars of Hammond and Johnson together on the front row with Smith, Lowry, Jones and Callender giving chase. Carl Rossin and Philip Waters, Chris Valentine and Bernie Printy with the production boxers of Andrew Baker and Matthew Harris filling out the back of the grid here at Snetterton. Richard Avery is our onboard cameraman on the second row of the grid. We've also got an onboard with Alex Stocker for the race as well. Richard Avery revving up. Here's Alex Stocker's car. We're getting ready for the off here at Snetterton. Red lights on. Hold it. We're racing at Snetterton in Norfolk. It's a good start in the midfield as Richard Avery is trying to work his way through the grid. The 94s get away cleanly as well. Here's Ryan Lowry in the treble one. Trying to work his way closer to the BDC racing cars of Hammond and Johnson as the 94 battle commences. Here are the Boxsters as Nick Hull goes round the outside into the first corner, already sorting himself out on the first lap. On board with Alex Stocker as he breaks down for the hairpin at Montreal. And this is going to be a really interesting tussle. Nick Hull going very wide there. They managed to slot themselves into position, but it's very tight already as we go on board with Richard Avery, who is now in second position behind Adam Southgate. So he's beaten Ed Hayes off the line. And already there are some pretty tasty battles in this one. Andrew Porter battling away behind us with uh, Nick Hull. He has now slotted himself into fifth position. Ed Hayes in third. So Southgate leads. Avery up into fifth position, defending the place. Oh, that was a little bit cheeky as Alex Stocker gets on the inside. And a spin from the 33. Andrew Porter loses the car. Here comes the 924 battle. Ross in Canada and Lowry. Whoops. That, what was that uh, Porsche Boxster doing on the inside line? Big moment there for the treble one of Ryan Lowry, looking behind him to try and pick out where he's going to defend into the left-hander as he makes his way through nicely. But Richard Avery chasing after Southgate. Ed Hayes, another poor start in third position. Hull is there in fourth position. Then it is 46, Gary Goodwin. And here's Angus Archer in the 70 as he plows his way down the back straight, being chased by Kevin Molyneux. On board with Alex Stocker. That is Goodwin in front of us. So Gary Goodwin goes under the bridge as Alex Stocker chases him down in the battle for fifth position. Four cars in it. And further back, we look at Pip Hammond leading in the 94 class in front of teammate Gavin Johnson. So down towards the bomb hole for the first time. It's going to be a really interesting run this for fifth position. Four cars in the battle, and it looks incredibly tight. Kevin Molyneux for the moment there, just taking up his position at the back of the queue to wait for an opportunistic moment. On board with Alex Stocker through the sweeping right-hander. Chasing down Goodwin in the battle for fifth position into the final chicane. And it's Goodwin in fifth, Stocker in sixth. Then it is the uh, 70 of Angus Archer in front of Kevin Molyneux across the line. Look how close they get to the pit wall. They do this for aerodynamic efficiency. But Richard Avery is looking to his left because Hayes is coming up alongside. Surely he can't go around the outside of turn one. He can. Is there enough grip on the outside? Oh my goodness, Ed Hayes is going to keep his foot in. Round the outside of Richard Avery at turn one. What an absolutely astonishing move. That was truly incredible. So Ed Hayes has got himself back in a second position. Now he's going to set after his championship rival, Adam Southgate. But it's great to see the Camper Red UK car of Richard Avery still getting up the order. He's had a difficult start to the season, but now he is definitely on the same pace as our leaders. Nick Hull, good to see him going with the three of them at the lead. So these four have broken clear. And look, that's Stocker. Now up to fifth position. He's got past uh, Goodwin, who is now under pressure from Angus Archer as they come into Agostini. And Molyneux up the inside. That was brave. I think that was a little bit cheeky, actually, from Molyneux. But he gets the move done. 
And Gary Goodwin now falls from fifth position to eighth position in a matter of corners. So up to P6 has come Angus Archer, still battling away with Kevin Molyneux, but Molyneux deciding to go with him. On board again with Richard Avery as they come out of the right-hander onto the back straight. This is where Avery can really pick up the slipstream and get closer to Hayes, but at the moment, Ed Hayes seems to have picked up the advantage and is pulling away. Incredibly hot here at Snetterton this weekend as uh, the summer is really starting to get upon us. They come under the bridge into Brundle, and there is Alex Stocker running in seventh position in front of Archer, Molyneux, and Goodwin. Now, Archer trying to hang on to that sixth position. Great to see his car back up to speed after the engine blow at Alton Park has kept him away for a few rounds, but that car is right back on pace. And good to see Angus Archer challenging for the top six once more. Kevin Molyneux following in his wheel tracks. He had a very interesting day at the races at Cadwell Park last time out. Now he wants more. So Kevin Molyneux working hard. We're on board with Alex Stocker in fifth position as he runs through that long sweeping right into the final turn. Breaking down for Murray's, keep it nice and tidy, and on the straight once again. Looking very good as the leaders come down the straight, but watch as they hunt the pit ball here. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. You hunt the pit ball to try and gain aerodynamic benefit. I've stood on that pit ball before as racing cars are going past. It's not like anything else in the United Kingdom. You can't get that close to the racing cars flying past anywhere else in the country. As Avery is closing right up on the battle for the lead. Southgate is holding up Ed Hayes a little bit there at the hairpin. Now this is perfect for Avery, we're right on board with him because he can close up on the two leaders in front. Into the left-hander. Great to watch the car travel to the apex. Little bit of correction from Richard Avery, not a massive amount to do. And he's still very much in contention for the victory. Nicole dropping back a little bit as they break down for Agostini. But Hayes is looking to try and get back on the top step of the podium. His winning streak finally broken in race two at Cadwell Park by Adam Southgate. But Southgate wants to take another win. Here's Lowry on the inside of the production box there. Into the Montreal hairpin. This is going to be brave if you can pull this off. But Ryan Lowry does it on the inside of Andrew Baker and gets the track position. Look at him. Up in front of them is the BDC racing cars. He's trying to get as close to them as possible. But he's also got to try and close up on Carl Rossin and Jamie Callender having a great resurgent race. Fourth and fifth position, Rossin and Callender. Good to see that Jamie has got his car repaired as well. And just like Angus Archer in the Boxster class, he is working his way forward. Here come the leaders once again in the Boxster class. Southgate, Hayes and Avery. Behind them, Nick Hull trying to watch for an opportunity. If he can get into the podium paying position, he will do so. But it's this battle once more, as it's been for most of the season thus far. Southgate versus Hayes. This is going to be the great rivalry for the 2017 season. On board with Avery as he watches them through the right. So easy to get this wrong. You just need a little bit of work on the steering. Let the car travel, break down, turn into the left-hander. Not too much curb. And here is the battle further back. That is the seven of Alex Stocker lapping Chris Valentine, who's got a matching Porsche 924 to that of Philip Waters' car. So a pair of uh, photographed cars there over the line. And it looks as though Kevin Molyneux is going to lap Valentine as well. So they come down towards the first corner once again. Archer having made a little bit of space between himself and Alex Stocker. So Archer now up into P5. We're on board with Alex Stocker as he goes through turn one. Nice, perfect line through. Here come the leaders lapping the traffic. They're lapping Philip Waters at the moment in the sister car. So through onto the inside, let's have a look and see if this is going to be an opportunity for Ed Hayes to close up. You can use the traffic to your advantage if you time it right. That is Matthew Harris a little further up the road in the 99 production box. Oh, he spun off! Whoops! Big moment there for the 99 of Matthew Harris. Now he should be able to recover the car from there. We go back to the 924 battle as Ryan Lowry has closed right up on Jamie Callender. Into the left, into the right, careful! Oh, a little bit too much curve from both of them. That shows you how close the battle is at this point, though. Amazing racing here at Snedderton. It's incredibly tight. Carl Ross in ahead of both of them in fourth position as they try to chase down Peter Smith in third. Through the right-hander. Lots of positioning correction there as the car starts to drift, but you can catch it very easily in these cars. Through the left-hander. And this is going to be an interesting one. Larry's got a great run off the turn. Jamie Callan is going to be mid-speed down the straight and Lowry's gonna get him now can he keep this going and on the inside run for Carl Rossin now look Jamie Canada lets him go and slots right in behind him there 
Very sensible from Jamie Callender. He's going to work the tyres less by following in pursuit. But they better keep an eye on things because David Jones behind them in the eight is closing up as well. So he's going to challenge for a place in the top six. Here's Lowry trying to get close under the back of Carl Rossin. Under the braking zone for the hairpin. Oh, Rossin's overshot. So too is Lowry. Here goes Callender up the inside. Thank you very much, mate. I'll get fifth position back again. So Jamie Callender takes the place. And I have a feeling that Morgan... Uh, sorry, uh, I have a feeling that there's going to be a place made up for David Jones as well. Round the outside, he gets him. Great move from David Jones. Up into B6 past Lowry. So Ryan Lowry now having to fight his way further forward. And he's keeping one eye behind him as well because uh, he's got the production box they're closing up on them. Carl Rossin defending well from Jamie Callender. David Jones getting into the mix as they come out of Agostini, out of the left-hander, down the short stretch to Hamilton. Ryan Lowry looking good, closing up on David Jones once again as Canada looks for a way on the inside of Carl Rossin. Can't quite get the move. Down into the right-hander. Canada goes the long way. Here goes David Jones up the inside. He's going to go for both of them. He gets Canada on the inside. Canada loses position. Lowry's going to get up the inside. Two wheels on the grass for Lowry. And he's through. Brilliant bit of racing from Ryan Lowry. He knew that was his one opportunity to take advantage of the gap opening up. And he made it stick. Great move from Ryan Lowry. Oh, epic racing in the 924s, just as there is in the Boxsters. These two have broken clear Southgate and Hayes. They've still got a little bit of traffic to close up on. But now these two are going to close this race out, and that is the battle they're closing up on. Now, when they get to this battle, they're going to have to be very careful where they pick it up, because they're still at it, as David Jones defends beautifully from Ryan Lowry. And now Southgate is defending from Ed Hayes. Both races are kicking off big style, but can Southgate soak up the pressure from Ed Hayes? It's going to be mighty close in the closing laps. Can he hold on? This battle for the lead at Snedderton getting very close in the BRSCC Toyo Tires Porsche Championship as Adam Southgate is trying to hang on in front of Ed Hayes while they're closing up on the 924 battle. Ed Hayes actually coming off the pit wall down the straight as we go into the last lap. How on earth are they going to tackle this traffic? It is now David Jones at the front of the queue. He's worked his way past Carl Rossin. So he's now up into fourth position in the 924 class. But now he's got to defend from Rossin, Lowry and Jamie Callender on the last lap and allow the leaders to come through. Lowry trying to get on the inside of Carl Rossin. Oh my goodness, Ed Hayes has closed right up on the inside of Adam Southgate as they lap Callender. Now they're lapping Rossin and Ryan Lowry. Southgate goes one way, Hayes goes the other on Ryan Lowry. Goodness me, that was a scary moment. Now obviously he's fallen off the back of David Jones a little bit, but once Jones lets these two cars through, then surely he will be able to close up a bit. Mind you, the timing of it means that David Jones should be able to secure fourth place. Southgate and Hayes both get through. Hayes is offline a little bit as he laps David Jones. Now, that should secure the race victory for Adam Southgate. I don't think he's going to get a chance to close up on the rest of the lap. Mind you, it is a long lap here at Snedderton, and one mistake from Adam Southgate on the last lap is going to give him another chance. On board with Lowry. Trying to close up on David Jones. Whoa, he's getting a little bit wayward on the final tour. Very tough stuff here for Brian Lowry. Meanwhile, Adam Southgate trying to hold on to the victory. Goes a little bit wide out of the right-hander. If Hayes has got a perfect run, he might be able to deaden some of the gap. Here they come, down the straight towards Brundle for the last time. Southgate still hanging on in front of Ed Hayes. David Jones looks as though he is going to hang on to that fourth position in the 924 battle. Behind Pip Hammond in the lead, Gavin Johnson in second, and Peter Smith in third. There is Peter Smith looking to hang on to his podium position. He's got on with the job very quietly here. Back on board with Alex Stocker, still running in sixth behind Nick Hull and Angus Archer. The back end's coming around. He's lost it. Into the wall, and Stocker is out. Oh, devastating on the last lap here at Snellerton. It's just so easy to do if you're not watching the back end. And unfortunately, the car just gets too loose. But up front, Adam Southgate is going to hang on for his second win in a row. He finally broke the winning streak of Ed Hayes last time at Cadwell Park. And now he makes it two wins in a row. The check it comes out of Snedderton. And Southgate wins it from Ed Hayes in second position. Third is Richard Avery. Fourth for Nick Hull from Angus Archer, Kevin Molyneux, Gary Goodwin and Andrew Porter with Alex Stocker crashing out 
on the last lap. Devastating. Fastest lap of the race from Adam Southgate. Andrew Baker beats Matthew Harris, who recovered well after the spin. And Baker sets fastest lap as well. Hammond wins the 924s from Johnson and Smith. Jones in fourth from Lowry, Rossin, Callender, Waters, Valentine and Printy. Hammond fastest lap. Well, Adam, these victories seem to come like buses for you. You wait uh, all season to get one and two come along straight away. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get a victory at Snetton, to be honest with you. It's been, uh, been really quick in qualifying. We've been struggling a little bit on, on power on this car. Uh, but yeah, able to get him off the start. And then um, really it was just kind of fending him off for the rest of the race. He drove brilliantly. Ed Hayes, second place, looking very relaxed after that. But I bet it wasn't like that in the cockpit. No, it wasn't. No, I got a trademark crappy start and then... Um you know, just about reading those two back in, managed to get Rich, and, and Adam just didn't put a foot wrong, so difficult really. And Pip Hammond winning with a 924 was with an ice cream in hand, probably that uh, victory was about as sweet as the ice cream you've got right there. Yeah, it's a lovely mint flavour victory that one, it was, um, <laughs> no, it was good fun, we, me and Gavin drove down at the first corner properly together, that was um, that was good, and um, I think Pete tried to send it on the inside on the first lap, but it just made a bit of a gap. And then beyond that, the, uh, it's so hot here. We're only getting a lap or so out of the tyres before they start to go off. So Saturday turns to Sunday with race two of the weekend. Adam Southgate will start on pole position. He's hoping for three wins in a row here. But this man next to him, points leader Ed Hayes, is going to press him hard all the way in this one. So who's going to get the victory this time? Southgate from Hayes, Avery from Hull in the top four. Archer and Molyneux on the third row of the grid ahead of Gary Goodwin and Andrew Porter with Alex Stocker recovering from ninth on the grid. His car is repaired though. Hammond and Johnson again on the front row in the ninth two fours from Smith and Jones. Ryan Lowry is fifth ahead of Carl Rossin from Jamie Callender and Philip Waters. Chris Valentine ahead of Bernie Printy with Andrew Baker and Matthew Harris in the production boxsters rounding out the field. Now we've got cameras on board with Nick Hull and Richard Avery on the start. Here we go. Great start and it's a cracker from Nick Hull as he moves further forward. The 924s get away together in unison as well. Down the straight, who's going to get a good one? Richard Avery slipping up the inside of Ed Hayes. Once again, Hayes is going to lose ground. Maybe Hull can keep the car around the outside at the first corner. Can he make it? Well, Archer is side by side with Molyneux further back as well. So some good battles already. Whoa, David Jones has gone off the circuit. Get back on, David. Don't lose the back end. Very calmly collected as Hayes now asserts himself in front of Nick Hull. Then it's Kevin Molyneux in fifth position. There's David Jones, he has rejoined the circuit in there behind Bernie Printy, so he hasn't lost too much. At least he's right on the back of the queue, so he can work his way back through the field. But David Jones, a very near miss there. So Southgate leads, Avery second, then it is Hayes. Here comes Angus Archer up the inside of Molyneux for a look, does he? No, he thinks better of it. Goodwin just in behind him, and then it is Porter in front of Alex Stocker. On board with Nick Hull as he chases down Ed Hayes, trying to get that third position again that he wants so badly. But it's a great little run. Oh, Nick Hull's lost the back end! Oh, dear, oh dear, he loses it and goes onto the grass. So Nick Hull is now going to have to do all that hard work again. We're on board with him. Karma collected, just get the car going. Don't push too hard on the grass. Or the car will just swap ends. Covers Richard Avery right underneath the race leader Adam Southgate, by the way, as they go down the back straight. He wants to go for the lead. There's Angus Archer, uh, sorry, there's Kerry Goodwin chasing Angus Archer as they go down the Bentley straight once again. Here comes Avery up the inside, going for the lead into Brundle. Oh, the back end's all over the place, Richard. Hang on to it. He goes over the grass, brings it back onto the circuit, and somehow he is still in second position, but he's got a lot of work to do now. No, he's in third, sorry. Hayes has gone through in a second. So Richard Avery just about saving his race there as he gets back onto the circuit. Now Hayes is swarming all over the back of Southgate. It's take two of race one. Through Murray's, up towards the left-hander. Plenty of curb. Looking good for Adam Southgate and Ned Hayes up front. But Avery is closing up on them. If these two keep battling, Avery's going to get another opportunity. Now look, Southgate hugs the pit wall. Hull doesn't. Avery does. What is Ed Hayes playing at? Maybe he just finds it's more efficient to run off the pit wall. Now, I'm not sure why, but that's an interesting bit of tactics there from Ed Hayes. Molyneux is now P4 in front of Angus Archer. Then it's Gary Goodwin in front of Porter, Stocker and Nick Hull, who is still trying to work his way back up through the field. Hayes makes the move on the inside of Southgate. Southgate defends in Montreal. Here we go. This is the battle for the lead we wanted. Richard Avery now trying to close up on them as well. This is a really intriguing battle we've got between the cars here. As through out of the left-hander, down towards Agostini. 
This is going to be an interesting run for Avery. We ride on board with him as he closes up. If these two continue to battle, then Avery's going to join them. He has joined them under the breaking zone for Agostini. If he gets a good exit, he can get back into the fight for victory. Southgate runs a little bit too deep off the curbs as they come towards Hamilton into the left-hander. Hayes has a look. He's just trying to put Southgate under pressure, but he has to back out of it. And now Avery is swarming around, trying to make the move into the right-hander. Oh, he gives him a little love tap. Come on, mate, put your foot down. Get on with it. Brilliant racing as they come up to the next right-hander. On the inside line, Hayes has a look for the inside of Southgate. Southgate runs deep. This is the opportunity for Hayes to get the lead. They run down the straight side by side, and Avery's getting in on it as well. Now, who's going to get to the breaking zone first? Southgate has the inside line. But Hayes is currently a little way in front. Here goes Southgate making his move. Avery's going to dive to the inside as well. Oh, brilliant. Avery back to second position. Now he's making the bid for Southgate. This is the best race of the season so far, without any shadow of doubt. Southgate, Avery and Hayes, they work through the bomb hole, through the right-hander. Here comes Avery on the inside. Long sweeping right-hander heading towards Murray's through Coram. Avery tries his best. He's edging ever closer as they head to Murray's. And on to the center straight once again. Here we go. Avery's got a good exit out of Murray's and down the center straight they go once more. Richard Avery doing his best to get onto the inside. But they both hug the pit wall big start. And Hayes has actually dropped back off the pace of them here. But this is the chance. Avery really having to defend a lot in through the first corner. All oh, great work for these guys as they push on. Avery's now looking for the inside up into the hairpin. Here we go. Whoa, bit of a nudge there. And that's going to put Southgate sideways. Avery's got the move on the inside. Southgate will not let him go. Surely into Palmer. Avery can't hang this round the outside. Well, he keeps his foot in. Surely he can't take the lead round the outside. He keeps it on the curb. Where's Southgate? He's swarming around behind him. Avery's made the move for the lead round the outside of Palmer and as they come to Agostini it's practically three wide oh there's bumping and barging as Hayes and Southgate run side by side Hayes has to back out of it and wait for another opportunity so close as they head to Hamilton meanwhile the 924s are getting exciting as well David Jones has made it onto the back of now is that Peter Smith in front of us I think that might be so David Jones is already having a good run here They've got one of the production boxes in there as well. So some good battles. I think we've lost one of the line two fours from the race, actually. Just trying to look at uh, who it is. Jamie Callender has pulled off on the first lap, which is a real disaster for him. Now, Peter Smith has been caught up in the battle. Carl Rossin has got through at some point. Uh, so too has Ryan Lowry. So now David Jones is going to be pursuing a move up the inside of Smith at some point. As again, Southgate defends from Hayes. Richard Avery leads the race. Maybe he can become the third different winner this year if he just hangs on to it. This is the pace we've come to know from Avery in the past. Runner-up last year. Here comes Nick Hull. He gives a thumbs up to Pip Hammond, who he passes on the road. Hammond still leading in the 924s. He's won everything except Orton Park this year. Those two races won by reigning box the champion Rick Styron on a visit to the championship in the, box, in the 924 series. Rumours arrived that he may be thinking about a comeback in the next uh, couple of meetings. On board with Richard Avery, our race leader. Hugging the pit wall. Southgate has now dropped Hayes. So this is interesting. Avery's got himself a bit of space to Southgate in second. Hayes third. Maybe we're going to see a third different winner. Looking further back to the 924s. Here's Carl Rossin in front of Peter Smith and David Jones. Good to see Carl Rossin back. He missed Cadwell Park. Difficulties with the car, but now he's got it back together again. And now Peter Smith is trying to make the move into Cora. That's brave, Peter. We're on board with David Jones as he closes in on both of them. This is the best meeting of the season in the Toyota Porsche Championship. It's fever pitch here as Richard Avery leads the way from Southgate and Hayes, but they've both been catching him. They've been reeling him in. And now Avery's overshot. Avery's overshot into the Bentley straight. Surely he can't hang on to the lead now. He looks behind him to see... Well, there's battles everywhere you look as Nick Hull has just made the move on the inside of Archer. And now Lowry's getting alongside Carl Rossin in the 924s. Impossible to know where to look here. He's back with the leader. Southgate's finally decided to go round into the chicane as he got him. Oh, Southgate has taken the lead as they head to the bomb hole. But now Avery's having to defend from Ed Hayes. Oh, my goodness. Best race of the season.
Race two, Snedderton. I'm going to remember this one for a while. It's not even done yet. Here comes Avery, chasing down the back of Southgate once again. Amazing scrapping here. And uh, Avery waves as he passes the pits. Sorry, I lost the lead, but I am going to try and keep Ed Hayes behind me as Ed Hayes comes to the first corner. He's going to try and go right round the outside. He's done it. Can he hold it on the exit? Ed Hayes is through in a P2. What a move. And that's why he's needed the championship. That's why he's the number one so far this year. Avery now trying to catch him as they break down for the hairpin. Through the right-hander. Back down the short stretch to Palmer. This is what it's like being inside the car as Avery tries to close up on his rival. Whoa, that's uh, Chris Valentine being passed by Angus Archer and Andrew Porter as they battle away for position. Down the Bentley straight once again comes our race leader, Adam Southgate. Being chased down by Ed Hayes. Maybe Hayes can win this race after all. He was third position. He's got a great run on the Bentley straight. Down in the braking zone for Brundle. Southgate gives him a little bit of room. Not a lot, but he's going to hold it on the inside. Southgate's going to be on the inside for the next corner. Hayes is going to be forced wide. Brilliant scrapping, but Southgate's left him enough room to go side by side to the bomb hole. Round the outside of the bomb hole. Hayes has got the lead back. Whoa, the car steps out. And somehow he holds on to it. Ed Hayes takes the lead. What an absolutely incredible run. Oh my goodness. We know that the Toyota Porsche Championship can be exciting and in previous years it's been absolutely death defying. So far this year it's been a one-man freight train until Adam Southgate broke the deadlock at Cadwell. Now we've got a real championship fight on our hands as Southgate is urged on by the pit wall. Come on, you can get him. Down to the first corner, Ed Hayes leads again, Southgate second, the third different leader of this race now, but Ed Hayes has had to work so hard to get into the lead of the race with two unbelievable outside passes as Southgate drops it on the curb. Here's Pip Hammond, meanwhile, a quiet race out in the front with his teammate at BDC Racing, Gavin Johnson, running around behind him in second, but the big key point to make here is that Gavin Johnson is a lot faster these days and he's closing up on Pip Hammond. There is Pip. But look back, there is Gavin Johnson. He's made up so much race pace. He is not actually that far away from Pip Hammond now. His confidence is increasing. It won't be too long before Pip Hammond's got somebody to play with. Gavin Johnson making up so much time. And the only way he can go is further forward. Now, here's Hayes in front of Southgate. Out of the hairpin at Agostini. Down towards Hamilton once again. But Hayes looks like he's got himself into a bit of a rhythm now some amazing overtaking moves from him today we're on board with david jones as we come under the bridge into brundle goes through but he's uh, looking good to hang on to this position in front of peter smith now there is smith as they tiptoe their way through and look we, we've noticed actually these cars are starting to lose grip again just as pip hammond was telling us after race one in this heat the tires only really last about a lap before they start to go off so for the rest of the race you're tippy towing around very difficult to control these cars, but the drivers are doing an absolutely cracking job. Here's David Jones through Corum, up to Murray's. He comes offline a little bit to break down for the inside. So difficult to get the tyres working that you're having to do an awful lot of work under braking and tippy-toe your way around the circuit. It's all about discipline and control at this stage of the race. As the further in you go, the more like driving on sheet ice the tyres become. Over the line and down towards the first corner once again. But here's your man who's leading the race comfortably, Ed Hayes, and he has managed to get himself a bit of a gap over Southgate now as they come out of Murray's onto the center straight once again. Ed Hayes is looking to get that winning streak started all over again, and the checkered flag is about to wave as Ed Hayes takes the win once again. Southgate in second place. Well, he's taken two wins, Southgate, but there will be more. Don't you worry about that, but a victory for Ed Hayes after an absolutely cracking one, Pip Hammond is going to get the victory again in the 924s and that is going to be his seventh win in a row absolutely amazing run for the pdc racing driver pip hammond today as long as he keeps it together on this last lap pip hammond is going to make it seven wins out of nine it was mint earlier on he joked with the ice cream in hand i wonder if it's going to be the raspberry ripple now for that fantastic victory and then if he wins the third one, that really will be the uh, cherry on the cake. Here they come, down the Bentley straight. Pip Hammond just looks behind him. Where's Gavin? Oh, he's not too far away. I might need to do some homework at this rate. He is catching very quickly in terms of race pace. In fact, there's the proof. You can see the second car of the BDC racing team. 
But even there, look, Pip Hammond is dominating the season in the 94s, but even he is struggling for grip. You watch him just coming through the chicane. He's having to be so tentative. Even through the bomb hole, he's had to come off the throttle just to keep the car traveling through easily. And watch him through Corum. So much travel as the car starts to balance and starts to twitch through the turns. You're having to be so frugal on the brakes here as well that the back end is trying to come around, but Hammond works it so carefully. And it's a great racing car. He drove me round in Gavin Johnson's car at Alton Park earlier this year, so I can tell you how brilliant these cars are. But it's another 1-2 for BDC Racing in the 924 class. Here's the results. Ed Hayes wins it from Southgate and Avery in third. Molyneux in fourth from Porter Archer, Nick Hull, Gary Goodwin and Alex Stocker. All the Luke Boxsters come home. It's Andrew Baker who wins in the production class from Matthew Harris. No spin for him this time, so the gap is only 13 seconds. Hammond from Johnson in the 924s ahead of Ryan Lowry on the podium again. Jones in fourth from Smith, Rossi, Waters, Printy, Valentine. And a retirement, unfortunately, for Jamie Callender. Well, they're back to winning ways, but I think it's safe to say that was far from easy. Absolutely not. No, it was a great battle all the way through. Um, good fun with everybody and, uh, yeah, just came out on, on top in the end. But I guess any, any one of the three of us could have done, really. Well, Adam, second place for you, but uh, it looks like you were incredibly busy out there to try and defend it. Yeah, it really was. So between me, Ed and Rich Avery, it was a hell of a battle uh, going on for about I don't know, the first six or seven laps or so. A um, couple of, you know, a little, little bit of body contact that we were rubbing. Nothing too major, though. Um, but yeah, it was a great race. Rich, another third, but I think it uh, looked pretty fun out there from your point of view. Oh, it was uh, absolute chaos, really, to be honest. We kept swapping places. It's probably one of my uh, busiest races this season, to be fair. Three of us were all hungry for it. Um, obviously, the better man won. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just, just complete chaos. Ed come past me up on the straight. He's got, he has got a little bit more power than me. And then towards the end of the race, I um, overheated. I think well, I come off the grass a couple of times. I must have picked some grass up, got in the air in takes, blocked the radiators off until the red light came on, so I backed off the last three uh, laps. Then it, obviously the grass cleared, then I could get back into it again. But by then it was all over for me. Well, three drivers can win. We know that now. Here's the reverse grid for the 10th race of the season. Stocker from Goodwin on the front row. Hull and Archer on the second row. Porter and Molyneux from Richard Avery and Adam Southgate. Ed Hayes is ninth. Valentine and Printy on the front row of the 924s with Waters and Rossin, Peter Smith and David Jones. And then we move on to Ryan Lowry, Gavin Johnson, Pip Hammond and Jamie Callender. In the production box, there's Matthew Harris will start in front of Andrew Baker. But all three classes are reverse grids. The red lights are on. Wait for it. Go! This is going to be an absolute cracker as Avery already gets a great start. Molyneux splits Archer and Hull. And now Avery's going to come past them as well. Cracking start from Richard Avery. We're on board with Nick Hull as now Avery tries to make the move on the inside. But Alex Stocker leads in the early stages. The clouds have come over, so it should be cooler. Carl Rossin leads in the 924s as they come through. But already Pip Hammond is trying to make his way on the inside of Smith and uh, Valentine. Ryan Lowry making his move for second position on the inside of Bernie Printy as the 924s work their way around. Avery's already up to third. Southgate's up to fifth. But Hayes is trying to come past him up at a fifth position. We're on board with Hull in seventh. Avery has a look off the inside for Kevin Molyneux. Can't get through. Those rain clouds are looking quite ominous. I hope they don't break through the race. But Richard Avery's going for the move. Now, where's Hayes in relation to Southgate? I think he's got through. So Hayes is into P5 in front of Southgate. Southgate diving for the inside to try and move up the position on the inside of Ed Hayes. And he's going to try and split them. Oh, Hayes is going to get caught out there. And Nick Hull's going to try and come up the inside. So Hayes drifts wide as he tried to go around the outside of uh, Angus Archer. He really got held up there. So that's impeded him. Now Avery's up to second, he's got past Molyneux. Whoa, the back end steps out a little bit, but he catches it onto the inside line. Alex Stocker leading from Richard Avery second. Molyneux third. Oh, Stocker's twitching on the outside line. So onto the Bentley straight, Avery's gonna take the lead on the first lap. Here he goes, Avery's already passing Stocker. He draws alongside down the Bentley straight, and he's gonna shut the door for the inside to make sure he can't come back through. Meanwhile, Southgate is in fourth position, running around behind Molyneux. How much grip is there on the inside line? We'll find out, but Hayes is going to go right around the outside of Southgate. And now he dives for the inside of Molyneux. They almost touch, and he has to back off on the curb. Now the car is loose, and Southgate's going to look to the inside of the bomb hole. Those are the championship rivals in fourth and fifth position, battling away for position. Amazing. So now Avery has taken the lead. Stocker in second, Molyneux is third, he's going to go for the inside line of Corin, but he'll be on the outside for uh, Murray's, and there's going to be three wide, contact! Oh, that's Molyneux off the road! And 
Stocker is going to hold it on the inside of Hayes. Southgate's coming past. Nick Hall's getting in there as well. What is kicking off here at Snetterton? Amazing. Avery's been left on his own. And now Southgate's drawing alongside. Stocker to try and take the lead. It's a four-wide clean sweep behind them. Here comes Archer on the inside. Trying to move up a couple of places as Southgate holds it right round the outside to get past Alex Stocker. Hayes is going to try and repeat the move on the outside of the curve as well. Oh, this is why I've been waiting all season for this battle to kick off. It's amazing. Snetterton plus Porsches is absolutely awesome. And now Kevin Mullen is going to try and make the move on Goodwin. As Nick Hull closes up on Angus Archer to try and get the move done as well. So Gary Goodwin hanging on to his position as long as he possibly can with Molyneux, Archer and Nick Hull giving plenty of pressure to him. But that little squabble has left Richard Avery a long way out in front. Southgate up to second, Hayes up to third. And here comes Goodwin making the move up on the inside of Stocker. Has he made that stick? Stocker's run out and kept the position. That's impeded Goodwin. So now Molyneux, Archer and Nick Hull are all sweeping around. Andrew Porter still in there as well. Plenty of opportunities for those guys to move up. Epic start to the third and final race of the weekend so far, and it's only just beginning here at Snedderton as Nick Cole runs underneath Kevin Molyneux, trying to make the move on the inside line as they come down the Bentley straight once again, down towards Brundle and Nelson. Here we go. Oh, bit of a switch back there from Kevin Molyneux as he defends from Nick Hull. He wants to hold on to the place, but Nick Hull's drawing alongside. There's not a lot he can do about it, and he's got the faster Oh, very tentatively breaking from Goodwin. That almost catches Hull out as he runs round the outside of Kevin Molyneux. Nick Hull dives for the inside of Goodwin and gets the place, but runs out wide. Now here comes Molyneux back on the inside through the bomb hole. He gets through. Nick Hull tries to switch back to the inside. <laughs> it's amazing racing here at Snedderton. Easily the best pair of races of the season. Southgate runs out wide through Coram. And that's given Hayes second position. How did Southgate save the car? Now I wonder if it's starting to drizzle a little bit because there's a lot of cloud cover over the circuit now. Avery is still a long way out in front. The mechanics urging him on. Come on, come on, keep up the pace. Southgate has dropped back behind Hayes. Good motivation to Alex Stocker on the pit wall as well in fourth. Molyneux fifth, Hull sixth. Porter, I think, has come up to seventh position. Yes, he has. So Porter has got past both Goodwin and Angus Archer. Good work from Andrew Porter to get into seventh position. Can he get these two? He's running well. Hull is having to try and swarm all over the back of Kevin Molyneux to defend for the position. Down to the hairpin. Through the right hand up. Let's have a look and get the switch back, Nick. He's got on the throttle very well, up towards Palmer. He's going to draw alongside, but he's going to get squeezed by Kevin Molyneux. Don't even think about it, bucko. Try something else. Brilliant racing here at Snedderton in the Toyo Tires Porsche Championship. All season long, we've been waiting for the battles to be as good as this. And now everybody's gotten used to the new aerodynamics of the car on the front and the rear end. And now the racing is absolutely fever pitch. Molyneux switches on the exit of Agostini. Nick Hull, the back end coming around a little bit as he gets on the power. They race down to Hamilton. Hull swarming around, trying to give Kevin Molyneux a bit of pressure. Will the number four make the mistake? The bumblebee yellow of his car still holding position. Here comes Nick Hull trying to make the move in the Union flag liveried car. Here he comes on the inside. Can he make the move? No, he has to hang back for a moment. Back onto the Bentley straight. We know he's faster in a straight line than Molyneux if he gets in the draft. But Molyneux is going to squeeze him out to the inside. Now he's going to drift across and across and across. Kevin Molyneux weaving all over the place. And now Alex Stocker is going to get even further away as a result of this in fourth position. Down in the braking zone. Molyneux holds it. Nick Cole is not going to be allowed an opportunity to come through. He's going to have to play smart thinking here. Whoops, too much curb. He runs wide. Now, there is an advantage to this because now Nick Cole can come at Kevin Molyneux from a little bit further back. But that will upset the rhythm a little bit. So now he's going to sit and watch Kevin Molyneux as he tries to draw closer to Alex Stocker further up the road. Absolutely amazing battles from the Porsches here in the championship fight. There's battles at the front, battles in the midfield, battles in the 924s as well. We'll keep an eye on that battle when we get an opportunity, but this fight is absolutely incredible. They come onto the pit straight once again. Molyneux close to the pit wall, trying to cut through the air smoother than Alex Stocker. Angus Archer has got Gary Goodwin lined up for a move for eighth position. We'll try and keep an eye on that. Goodwin defends. Archer tries to make the move on the outside as he comes through once again. But this is good defending from Gary Goodwin as he holds on to the place. Archer through on the inside line. 
All we need now is uh, our good friend, Mr. Lawrence, to be in this uh, battle as well. He's missed this round of the championship due to the damage sustained at Cadwell. Hopefully he'll be back in time for the next round of the championship. Hull tries to squeeze on the outside. Now, this is an interesting charge as Hayes and Southgate work together to try and close down the gap to Richard Avery. But I think Avery may become our third different winner this time. He's got plenty of gap to hold on to it. It's now just a question of motivation as Molyneux tries to hang on again at Agostini in front of Nick Hull. But their battle is bringing Andrew Porter into the mix. Is that a spot of rain on the camera? I think it might be. I think we're starting to get a little bit more slippery conditions around the Snedderton circuit. It's what they call psychological rain at the moment. It's not heavy enough to cause too much of an issue. Porter's going to try and make the move to the inside of Hull. Hull has to go for the inside of Molyneux to counter-attack. And they're all closing up on Alex Stocker as a result. What a battle this is turning into for fourth position. Stocker, he's going to get swamped if he's not careful. Out of the right-hander and down the straight. Hull's got a great run off the turn. But Molyneux is going to try and make the move on Alex Stocker. They're going to have to sort themselves out of the chicane. Hull's drawing alongside. Ever so close to uh, making the move. He slots himself in behind Stocker as they battle away. But it's good racing in the 924s as well. Here comes Gavin Johnson up the inside of David Jones to try and get into third position. Now, how is this battle edged up? Not again! Nick's gone again at the same corner. Catch the car, Nick. Catch the car. Get it pointing in the right direction. Get on the throttle. Good boy. Not too much time saved. Now, we've got difficult conditions. It's slippery, and Richard Avery has lost his massive advantage. Can he hold on here? Look, we can see spots of rain on the camera. It's starting to get quite slippy out there. Can Richard Avery hang on in front of Ed Hayes? The tyres look like they've started to go off. And with the added threat of Drizzle, Avery's going to have an awfully tough job trying to hang on as they go through Corum. Ed Hayes is right behind us now. As we come up to Murray's, Hayes is having a go. He knows he's not going to get through into Murray's, but he might get better run off the centre straight. Richard Avery's got to defend here. He's got to be incredibly careful how he does it, though. He looks back. Where is he? Is he going left? Is he going right? He's going right! Avery's going to try and squeeze him, so he runs out of road, but he's going to go straight past him. Hayes is going to get the lead. Now, can Avery get him on the undercut? He's going to try his best. But I think Hayes has got the lead at the right time. Avery's going to switch straight back across for the hairpin. Hayes holds the inside line. Avery's going to try and get the switch back. Hayes overshoots. Avery's not quite going to be able to get the switch back, but he might be able to get the nose alongside him. Hayes is leading, but Avery's swarming about all over the place as they go into Palmer through the left-hander. Now, Hayes was quite heavy on the brakes there, but Avery was not quite in a position to overhaul him. Is that the position that's made the deadlock? Has Avery come so close to the sun, Icarus style, and then slowly fallen at the end of the race? Hopefully, he'll be able to get back on him later around the lap. Hayes drifting. See, everybody's struggling for grip. The tyres are so difficult to keep hold of once they start to go off. Meanwhile, Kevin Molyneux is still battling further back with Angus Archer. As Molyneux has lost grip now, he's having to hang on in front of the Scotsman, Angus Archer. So can he hang on? It's going to be interesting as they come through. Corum, very close together. Down into the braking zone, through Murray's and onto the centre straight. Molyneux's hesitant on the acceleration. This is where Archer can get him. Up on the inside line, there's not a lot Molyneux can do about it. And Archer is through before they even cross the line. Meanwhile, Gary Goodwin is trying to catch them both. So this should be a really interesting battle as they come down to the first corner. Archer is now through and clear. Second position going well for the four of Kevin Molyneux. There's the production runner. That's Harris in the 99. Hayes is now well clear of Avery. Look at that. He has managed to get very well ahead of his rival there. Southgate in third position has absolutely no base at all in these cooler conditions. The thing is, these guys have set the cars up for the hot weather. And now that this... Uh, cloud cover has come in and there's a little bit of drizzle in the air it's actually really difficult for all of the cars to be in a decent setup they've just got to use what they can carefully ed hayes of course has more confidence in this car than most having won so many races at the start of the year don't forget coming into this round he won six races on the trot from uh, the first round of the championship at alton park through to the third round at cadwell park finally beaten in the in the next two races by adam southgate but now Southgate is trying to reel in Avery as Ed Hayes closes up on uh, Matthew Harris to uh, close him up and go for the victory.
But it is going to be an absolutely fantastic end to the race as far as he's concerned. Through he goes, past Matthew Harris. But it's going to be a win for Ed Hayes. He's going to make it two out of three this weekend and keep his uh, fantastic season going strong. And that will take him to eight race wins out of ten this year. Into the final turn of the lap. Through Murray's, he's closing in on Jamie Canada, who's got his 924 up to speed once again. Through you go, Ed. Take the place. I'm quite happy to cruise across the line behind you. The chicken flag flies, and it's a victory again for Ed Hayes. He wins in fantastic style. Richard Avery in second position. Third place for Adam Southgate. Gripping races here at Snedderton. I'm really disappointed. It's over, actually. Archer through for a fantastic fourth place in front of Kevin Molyneux with Goodwin in sixth. Hull in seventh, Stocker and Porter out of the race in the end of the day. Andrew Baker comes through in front of Matthew Harris to take the victory in the production category. And once again, Pip Hammond makes it three out of three from Gavin Johnson and David Jones. Pritchard is a very strong fourth ahead of Rossin, Smith, Waters, Valentine and Printy with Calendar out of the race. Ed, winning race three for that one, you start from the bottom and uh, now you're here at the top. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a tough race. Um, I made a, a nasty move on Adam. I thought I could get up the inside of Coram, but I lost control of the car, took him along with me. Um, apart from that, it was sort of relatively clean, but, but when, you, when you reverse grids, I mean, you, you pick up scrapes left, right and centre, it's just the way it goes. I mean. Rich in second place, but at one point it looks as though you had it, but that pesky Ed Hayes just got the best of you again. Yeah, I know. I definitely thought it was there. Well, it was there. I, I, did, and I had a good lead on all the lads. I had a blinding start. I mean, not, it's not a bad start, but I managed to weave through quite a few of the lads. I think I was in the lead by about turn four, something like that. Um, held it, and I was on me over quite a while, and then I see Adam and Ed coming through, and I just felt like a sitting duck. Well, that was the best weekend in the championship in 2017 thus far. Ed Hayes leads the points table by 18 to Adam Southgate, with Richard Avery 35 back. Nick Hull is fourth from Molyneux, Stocker, Gary Lawrence, who hopefully will be back next time, Porter, Archer, and Goodwin. In the production category, Andrew Baker continues his run of victories at uh, Snetterton with another victory. That's his 10th out of 10 this year with Matthew Harris. 35 points behind him in the championship. Should be a good fight. Pip Hammond, 25 points ahead of Gavin Johnson. Eight wins out of 10 so far this year ahead of Ryan Lowry with Rosson and Smith tied in fourth. Waters, Calendar, Potts, Valentine and David Jones. So, after another brilliant weekend at Sneston, the Toyo Tyres Porsche Championship now hits the halfway stage. We've had a fantastic first half of the season, and as Ed Hayes and Pip Hammond top the table, they both know it's only going to get harder, because the next venue is one that's treacherous, tricky, and one that if you take liberties, you are going down. Ladies and gents, the next venue is Castle Coombe in Wiltshire. And all I can say is, drivers, be afraid, be very afraid. See you there. <laughs>